What do we want? Nine man action. When do we want it? Two. Now. What do we want? Nine man action. When do we want it? Now. When do we want? Nine man action. When do we want it? Now.
at CNN because fires are raging across the West Coast and the media is still failing to cover the climate emergency. Over 5 million acres have already burned. That's an area larger than Connecticut and Delaware combined. This year has seen the worst wildfires on record and we're only at the beginning of what should be the wildfire season. Yet California's Fire Protection Service has publicly said that it no longer considers there to be a wildfire season because the season is now the entire year. Why is this year so bad? And why are the fires getting worse? The simple answer, and the one backed by science, is the climate crisis. The burning of fossil fuels has heated up the planet, drying out our forests. Colonization has stolen indigenous sovereignty and criminalized the ways that indigenous peoples regulated the wildfires and cared for the land. Capitalism, colonialism, and greed have created this emergency. This is not a debate. There's no agenda here. The science is clear and well established. The climate crisis has set our home on fire. Why does CNN fail to accurately report on the biggest crisis threatening all of our futures? This is about the people being impacted today. This is about the people who will be impacted tomorrow. This is about the rest of my life. This is about the rest of her life. The execs at CNN and Big Oil will be dead long before I will, long, long before she will. They will never have to face what we will have to face. They will never have to face what many people are already facing. They should be doing every single thing they can to lessen the damage that the climate crisis will cause. Don't they have children? Don't they have families? Don't they have empathy? Why do CNN and other major outlets refuse to say every single time that the climate crisis and the wildfires are connected? These aren't just wildfires, they're climate fires. And why are news outlets failing to report that these climate fires are increasing catastrophically? Because of the climate crisis, because of our extraction and rely on fossil fuels. The answer is simple. Because the truth is not profitable. Because telling you that it's fossil fuel driven, climate change exposes the problem and the solution to the crisis. We need to stop the fossil fuel industry from polluting the planet and exploiting marginalized and often disenfranchised communities. We need to stop them from exploiting black and indigenous people just to make money. Money that they then use to pay CNN and other billion dollar outlets to spread their profitable lies. Journalists and editors like to say that they're trying their best. That the dirty money that their outlets happily take from BP and other climate criminals doesn't influence their coverage. But let's look at the data. Americans are poorly informed about the cause of the crisis and how it hurts nature, how it hurts people, how, how we can stop the crisis from getting worse. Only about 40% of Americans think that the climate crisis threatens their safety, their livelihoods, or their children's future. That should be 100%. This climate crisis is impacting and it's going to impact every single person. This lack of knowledge represents the failings by mainstream media. 77% of voters say that it's important to make the connection between climate change and natural disasters, but they are natural. They're caused by the fossil fuel industry, by humans, by capitalism, by greed. However, only 39% of voters say they hear about climate change in the media more than a few times a week. CNN is missing the story of the century. The mandate of the media is to tell the truth, is to inform the public. The people deserve to know the truth. When I say CNN, you say tell the truth. CNN! Tell the truth. CNN! Tell the truth. CNN! Tell the truth. Woo! CNN, though, has not been telling the truth. 
In the past week, none of CNN's coverage of the wildfires mentioned the words fossil fuels. This is what happens when CNN takes money from British Petroleum to put out ads that say the climate crisis cannot be solved without more fossil fuels. CNN's financial ties to the world's worst climate criminals are damaging our understanding of the crisis and our response to the emergency. This is what happens when BP owns CNN. In 49 segments aired about the wildfires, CNN mentioned climate change just five times, and it gave just three minutes of coverage in total to the fires over a four day period. This is how it treats the gravest threat to humankind. By now, most journalists must know that climate change intensifies wildfires, storms, and other weather disasters. It would be so simple to mention the climate crisis and fossil fuels every time they mention these weather disasters. Instead, CNN com compartmentalizes the fires. They treat them as a standalone disaster that will eventually end. But they won't. That's not true. The fires will get worse. People will not be able to just recover and move on. We will all be affected by the climate crisis, but not all of us will be impacted equally. Black, indigenous, and people of color will be hit the hardest despite being the least responsible for the pollution and the crisis that we face. So far, the fires have killed at least 33 people. Millions more have choked on the smoke that now goes from Hawaii all the way to Vermont and now is arriving to Europe and has turned the West Coast air into the dirtiest on earth. The living world, which sustains us all, is rapidly unraveling before our eyes. How much more do we need to lose before CNN and other outlets treat the emergency with the urgency that it demands? How many more lives need to be lost? How many more acres of old growth forests need to burn? How many more homes need to be destroyed? How many more children need to have their health blighted by pollution? How much more do we need to lose in the fires before CNN acknowledges that fossil fuel companies are dousing the flames of our burning home with oil? The media's job is to tell truth to power, to inform people, to tell the truth. CNN is failing in every single respect. Its silence is just another version of denial. It's time to end the silence. That's why we gather today, to mourn the life lost, to the fires, and to hold the media accountable for the role they play in suppressing vital information about the climate crisis. Every single person must be made aware of the dire state that we are in. In the words of an XR rebel who's now returned home to Seattle, this is a herald, a turning point, a flaming Rubicon. This is the beginning of the end of a world. I just didn't expect it to happen so slowly, so suddenly, so viciously, so normally. I didn't know that it would hurt so much. And this is painful to watch. This is the truth. CNN sits among flames and says nothing, does nothing because it is blinded by power, by money that we don't have. Perhaps if we had money, they would listen to us. This is the climate crisis. It's normal, it's slow, it creeps up on us, but it impacts us all. Here comes the devil of the climate crisis, the devil that came.
Goodbye guys. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Red Robbers, you want to come with us? Yeah.